Today in its 2013 Nissan Altima, we'll be installing the Tow Ready Wiring Harness, part number 118470. This is a wiring harness that will generally be in the trunk of our vehicle when not in use. When needed, simply open the trunk and pull the harness out. When routed to where it needs to be, go ahead and shut the trunk, making sure to keep it away from the latch, as it might damage the harness. When you're finished, go ahead and place it back in the trunk or spare tire area for storage. Now let's show you how it installs. First, we need to gain access to the trunk area. We'll then lift the spare tire cover and jack storage tray out of the way and remove the center threshold. To do this, we need to remove three pop rivets that hold the threshold in place. Once that's done, we'll pop up the entire threshold up and out of the way. Next, we need to get to the taillight wiring harness. To do that, we need to remove a tie down and a rivet to get the side panel carpeting out of the way. Now we can see the taillight wiring harness plug. We'll now repeat this for the passenger side. With our taillight wiring exposed, we we'll now return to the driver's side and plug in our T-connector with the yellow and brown wires in with the vehicle's wiring. We'll disconnect the vehicle taillight plug by pushing in on this tab here. Then we'll plug in our T-connector matching up to the appropriate ends. Now on this T-connector end, you'll notice a white wire with the ring terminal. This will be the ground wire. We'll strip it back from the harness a bit and attach it to a piece of sheet metal on the vehicle with a self-tapping screw. This looks like a good spot here. With that done, we'll take the T-connector with the red and green wires and route it over to the passenger side taillight. Once there, we'll repeat this process of plugging in the T-connector with the vehicle taillight wiring. With that done, we'll go back to the module box. There you'll find a red wire with the end of the insulation stripped off the back. We'll get the long black wire that comes with the kit, strip it back, and attach it to the red wire from the module using the provided buck connector. Then we'll find a suitable spot to mount our module box. We'll clean off the area and peel back the covering on the adhesive and push it into place. Next, we'll undo the four pole wiring and route it into the spare tire area. We'll secure some of our wires with zip ties to keep them up and out of the way. Once done, we'll cut the ends of the zip ties to help clean up our install look. Then we'll place the side carpeting back into place. Next, we can start looking for a way to route our black wire to the positive battery terminal in the engine compartment at the front of the vehicle. It looks like there's a grommet just forward of the spare tire that we can use to do this. We'll pop the grommet out and make a slice in it. And then we can go ahead and guide our black wire through. We'll then put the grommet back into place, hiding the remaining black wire in the trunk under the carpeting. Now we'll reinstall the rest of our trunk components. With our trunk put back together, we're now underneath the vehicle where we'll route the black wire up to the engine compartment. To assist us with routing the wire through the engine compartment, we'll use a spare piece of airline tubing to help pull up our wire. Now this also could be a stiff piece of wire or a fish tape to help pull our wires from the bottom to the top. When doing this, you want to make sure you avoid any hot spots or anything moving like the exhaust or suspension components. We'll pull the wire up from the bottom and route it to the battery using zip ties along the way to secure it. Next, we'll take our yellow fuse holder and cut the loop. 
On one end, we'll strip it back and add a buck connector. The other end will get a ring terminal. We'll then cut the black wire to length and attach it to the fuse holder with the buck connector end. Once we have the two wires connected, we'll go ahead and wrap them up with some electric tape. We'll then attach a ring terminal to the positive side of the battery. Then we'll go ahead and put our fuse into the fuse holder. With that done, our install is complete. The last thing we want to do is go ahead and quickly test a four pole in the trunk. It's always a good idea to check the wiring on a vehicle before you try it out on a trailer. Looks like everything's working fine. And there you have it for a tow ready wiring harness part number 118470 on our 2013 Nissan Altima.